Hi dear loves, I'm Nicole and welcome to our spiritual guidance for May 13th through May 19th, 2018. Let's take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. Deep, deep, deep. Challenging your human. Kissing your higher self. And release. Happy Mother's Day. Happy beautiful new moon in Taurus. Happy Ramadan and happy Armed Forces Day. Anyone in the military with family in, um, veterans of any country, honey, thank you. We know that many joined the military not out of free will. So thank you so much. And many that join um, don't come home. And so we send your ascended loved ones our love, our prayers, and our blessings, that they are at peace. And we pray for those who have served and are serving and will serve, that they are well taken care of and that they do come home safe. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. This is the new moon in Taurus. This is a great time to start new beginnings, new initiatives where love and money is concerned. Taurus is the governor of what you earn, what you earn, you value. So what you put your effort in, what you get back, that's what Taurus is all about. And when you are looking at Taurus's ruling planet, Venus, it's love and money. So let's go ahead and see what Divine Source has in store for us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lord. We are so grateful. Thank you so much for allowing me to channel our spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much for allowing me to serve as a spiritual channel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Heavenly angels, thank you. Thank you for helping me channel our spiritual guidance. Thank you so much. Divine spirit guides, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me channel our spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Don't do too much. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But whatever needs to change as far as ideals, your behavior, then definitely go in that path. Your philosophy is changing. Thank you so much. This is the hopes, the wishes, but it's charity. It's so it's feed faith and star fear because I'm seeing the red ruby slippers like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pour your energy into your manifestation. But go above and beyond. Summer solstice. Radiate. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Being reminded of your power. Oh. Shine your light. All right. We are gifted with the spirit of the falcon to act on that opportunity that comes up this week. And don't hesitate make sure that that is um, clear thank you so much so don't hesitate go in that direction you know this is a new moon so it's that opportunity is gonna come and you're ready shine don't dull your shine. Don't walk away from it. This is saying go to it. What the sun comes and brings, the sun expands. The sun uh, warms that energy. The sun blesses that opportunity. Okay? Thank you so much. So that's telling you that you're ready. You're going to shine. It's time for you to go out. If it was winter solstice that came up, it would be an introverted reflective energy it would be stay in and just kind of think about it and plan you know but now we're being gifted with 
that go ahead and go out and expand and um, you've already begun to transform so this is straight up expansion thank you so much build start new thank you so much divine source please show us our energy and our love lives and you know spiritual guidance speaks to every single one of us Aries Taurus Cancer Gemini Leo Virgo Le uh, Libra Scorpio Sagittarius Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, every single beautiful star sign because spiritual guidance speaks to your soul and you are the soul within your human. There it is. Woo! Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Who's on their twin flame journey? What? Well, honey, if they're getting on your nerves, just know that there's a strategy. Spirit's telling you love and money. This week, new beginnings, Taurus governs love and money. You know, Taurus's ruling planet is Venus. Venus is goddess Isis. Okay, goddess Isis does her thing. And she is ruler of her queendom. Uh, you know, and she sought out the murder of her husband. She is mother to Horus, she is all encompassing. Thank you so much. So, oh, I do feel. Did you see how those turned? So we've got all of those coming. So there's a strategy. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Would you please? Oh, all right. Some of you. Wow. Talk about shining. Take that opportunity this week. First of all, know that every battle is not meant to be won or even engaged. You are at a crossroads and now is the time to forgive and release resentment or hurt. Seeing the other person's point of view and knowing you do not have to be right, it's showing your strength in relationship. You do not have to compromise your values or your standards. And Taurus governs our values. Okay, so this is a strategy that you have. But you've got to really look deeper, reach beyond the surface of your feelings. There's two twin flame energies here. And Spirit is encouraging you to be vulnerable to the unknown and what comes to you as your spiritual guidance because healing energy is needed now to move forward. You don't be afraid to face your skeletons and leave the baggage behind, dear love. Honey, you deserve true love and happiness of mind, body, and soul so look deeper into what you're feeling own your emotions and when you look at that person you are looking at your shadow self you're looking at your other half and it's scary to you but it's scary to them too okay so you really gotta be honest with yourself Spirit is asking you to ask yourself this question. What are you in fear of letting go? Just ask yourself that. Because self-fulfilling prophecies can manifest, dear love. Divine Source is reminding you to listen to your intuition and deepen your faith. Look and listen to the wisdom that's in your heart. And really be upfront and honest so that you can clear away that baggage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe you know you have a need to try to control it all. And Spirit's telling you there's a strategy here. You don't have to be in control of all of it. You can have an interaction there that is pleasant because you're with your twin flame or you've met your twin flame 
Well, honey, you are on the verge of doing it with two twin flame energies here. When you look into each other's eyes, you are embracing each other's soul, but also you aren't even talking to each other in the physical sense, meaning you're not, you haven't talked to him or her, you haven't met him or her, but you feel it, you feel their presence. It's that twin flame pull. Spirit is confirming your affirmations hopes and your dreams right now but there's someone here that's not for you and that could be your twin flame it could be the one you're with it could be the one they're with but spirit has been sending you messages from the spirit realm on why this person is not for you now you could be with someone that is physical attraction and that is blocking your connection from manifesting with your twin flame. Please listen to your intuition. You do not have to force love or attention from someone that is unavailable, that is unworthy, or is only physical attraction filling a void. You do not have to settle and divine source will begin moving you in the direction you are meant to go in once you remove the block you've settled into when you're with someone that with that much distance you can't even look at each other you just can't even stand to be around each other it's time and when you know it when that twin flame or that strong soulmate comes knocking honey you know it because there's a reconciliation happening so if you've already been in talks about it if you've already known that you're gonna move there if you already know that you two are moving together you feel that pull you feel that connection that reunion that manifestation getting ready to happen this is your confirmation someone from your past is coming back into your life very soon or already has it could be a past life partner your twin flame your soulmate your ex-lover or your spouse healing is in order to move forward meditate on the lessons you have learned in relationship and be ready for your reunion to occur okay all right dear loves so you have a reconciliation coming. You have someone that's not for you. You have your twin flame in the picture. There's a compromise on the table. There's a compromise that needs to be, that needs to happen. And to really ask yourself, what is it that you're in fear of letting go of? Remember that negative prophecy can manifest, so we want you to stay as positive as possible. Stay optimistic because you've got a double twin flame energy here coming in. So even if you're with your twin flame already, you might be getting um, flirts by someone that's not for you. Your twin flame may be coming in and you may be with someone that's not for you. You may be with your twin flame and know that someone that's coming in is not the one you're supposed to be with. So to look deeper and see what you really are in fear of and to know that when you're at that crossroads, maybe it's time for you to release the resentment you've been holding on to. But whatever you do, don't dull your shine and act on that opportunity without equivocation. Go for it because this is a new beginning in love and money. So let's just see what money is talking about. Thank you so much. We don't wanna hide the twin flame energy. I'm gonna put those right up there. 
reconciliation right in the middle. All right. Ooh, thank you so much. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, that's exciting. Thank you so much. All right. Hi, Queen Mother. Thank you so much. I try to be really careful with this beautiful cloth because it was a gift from um, the, uh, India. A friend of mine visited. Oh, uh oh. Look who came out. Transformation. That's the new moon. We're getting it. You're transforming into the new you and who you are becoming. And so know that there's a side of you that has already begun to transform. Because with the new moon coming, this is that time to own it. You've also got 13 here, which is release. And it is that time to let go of your old self and welcome the new you with the new moon. Thank you so much. So you've got transformation in the way you've been doing business, whether or not you have been trying a different way of obtaining a higher income, employment, a change in career. You might have started your own business because this is a complete transformation. So it's a, it's a strong transition and knowing that you deserve more so the actions you're taking are aligned with your value thank you so much and you are really looking at what you deserve now putting in that effort making sure that you produce um, high quality programs products work that whatever you sign off on is solid gold. Thank you so much. Oh, I thought I felt it. Oh, goodness, I sure did. And let me show you how it ended, how it landed. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. It's time. You are going into your life mission. That's this. You love what you do. The Knight of Cups. That's do it. You know what's on your soul. You got to ask yourself what you're in fear of. And this Knight of Cups is excellent in finding your purpose, going after it. So do what you love because you've transformed from doing what you don't want to do anymore. The star is your blessing. That is giving you everything you need to make it happen. This is absolutely beautiful. The new moon for you this week is that opportunity is gold. Go after it. When someone says they want to work with you on something, look into it very deep. And nine times out of ten, you're going to go for it. You've already said, you know what, I've got to do things differently. I'm going to do it. I love what I do or I'm going to go after what I love and be pampered and fulfilled by it. And the star is blessing your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams. It's all coming together. Beautiful spiritual guidance this week. Beautiful. If I can be of assistance in a private reading, don't hesitate to ask. The links are down below. We have a few master classes going on. We have our seven month life mission master class academy. People are getting results, and you can go click the link and you could check it out yourself for free. And you can uh, join our support um, group on Facebook. We also have an energy healing master class coming up. We have a eight-week spiritual awakening masterclass coming up as well. Um, and we've got a few other things down there too. So definitely love on yourself. Continue to transform. Be blessed. When you see that opportunity, see how you feel. Listen to what's coming to you as spiritual guidance. Honor that and move forward in that direction. 
look deeper into why you're feeling what you're feeling why are you fearing this connection with your twin flame and really give that moment of reflection but don't dull your shine with the summer solstice energy here this is time to act on it and this is absolutely beautiful remember there's a compromise because you're at the crossroads in your love life someone is not for you whether it's someone that's flirting with you you're flirting with um, you're not committed to that seeing someone else um, it's someone that either has come into the picture recently or is getting ready to your twin flame may have come in the picture and um, that reconciliation may be coming to a head it may be finally kind of finalizing there and you having that reunion um, and so this is really really beautiful 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 stuff many blessings dear loves please like comment share your feedback um, we've done the monthly readings a little bit different and I think next month we will you'll see something um, else but I think it might go towards some of the feedback that I've been receiving and I so appreciate you for that I really appreciate you letting me know what you like what you love to see what you miss about our channel so thank you so much where we've got our podcast Nicole X Soul available on all good podcast uh, players and we've got a you know a lot of good things going on so thank you because it is because of you it is for you and honey I just appreciate you so I will talk to you very soon don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the notification button I think it's a little alarm so that when we do pop on and there's a new video, you'll get it instantly. Honey, I love you. Mwah! And I will see you very soon. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. And keep shining your beautiful light.